Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Legends of the Breath of the Wild. Now we have another Sh Sheikah Tower here. Almost all of them have been collected by this point, we're only missing like three. And now, let's have a look at some of the shrines that are nearby that we've had marked on our map for ages. Starting off, let's go to this one way over here, this way. Since we can basically just glide there from the Sheikah Tower. Especially if I use some of my el elixirs just to keep my stamina going long enough basically although I might actually be able to make it without that maybe I can definitely hope but I don't really know also I think you were supposed to go the other path from the uh, the bridge the Akala bridge area to go along this road but we're just going to go directly down this way, since it's easier. I've always not gone along the paths in my playthroughs. There's also some statues here that look very familiar. So let's go ahead and grab this. Another Korok, obviously. Just need to drop one in the middle. Going to mark that one off. Okay, grab these apples back, and let's do this shrine. Okay, what have we got? We have a minor test of strength. That's not going to be too hard then. Let's go ahead and quickly heal. Just make sure we're at full health for it. And I might also make sure I've got better armor out, since I don't want to accidentally die. But it's only a minor test of strength, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Now I'm going to make sure I've got taken a picture of this, because I, I don't remember what I've taken pictures of. There's, there are so many things to take pictures of, how am I supposed to remember across multiple weeks? Okay, I have taken a picture of this before. Okay, goodbye now. Ow! When I said goodbye, I meant that I was going to hit you, not you hit me. Oh, it broke. Cool. Um, Hang on, can I just test something? Okay, you can't use Obosa's Fury in this. Inside of shrines, but that's okay. Let me just finish you off. Easy. Grab all that, and let's head in this direction. Grab the only chest in here, and then, yeah, easy. We're probably going to clean up as many of the shrines that are nearby as possible as we go, because they're just there's, there's plenty of them, so we're going to just get them done. Okay, and while we're here, if we look down here, I believe, we can see some mushrooms. Some very big mushrooms. Some very familiar mushrooms. And, getting closer, we can see a very familiar object. So let's have a look. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. I'll pass. That is truly tragic. <laughs> Why can't I just... Okay. Boy, sweet boy, please listen to my story. Sure. I am the great fairy Mija. This place was once a beautiful spring. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. As a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. All I need is 1,000 rupees. Well, that's convenient. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me. I don't know how I managed to have enough for this without 
needing to go get stuff, but I don't care. In order for me to regain my power, I need a thousand rupees. Here you go! Thank you. You are too kind. Ah, the power. It's overflowing! So you're the one who released me. I was expecting someone bigger, I guess. But a slim little lad like you will do just fine, yes. Thanks to you, my power has been returned to me. And I think you'll agree, a good deed deserves a good reward. I can enhance your clothing, but I, re I require the necessary materials to do it. With the power available to me, I can greatly enhance your clothing. So now, we can enhance our clothing to three stars. Let's get started. And I probably shouldn't have skipped that because it's a different thing now. There we go. Any other clothing items you want me to work on? Okay. And I'm actually going to show the, the actual animation cutscene thing now. Well, I know what thumbnail I'm going to use now, if I remember. So let's just enhance as much as we can. Uh, oh, I need more for Goblin Guts and Moblin Guts. What do I need for the Hero's Tunic? Oh, I need... Ah, this is going to take a while to get some other stuff as well. I actually want to do the Snow Quill stuff as well, since that's fairly useful and needs upgrades. The animation... Uh, will be the animation for whatever star level you're giving to the equipment you're doing. Okay. Also, now that we have our third fairy fountain, the other fairies can also upgrade stuff to level 3. There we go. Now, what do I need for that next level? Warm Saflina, okay. And also more red choo-choo jelly. We're going to be needing materials for a long time. Mm. Wish there was a way to just enhance things faster than this. Oh, I barely have enough to upgrade my Desert Vo stuff, but that's okay. Oh. Let's do it. And then we'll be able to use it, so... There we go. Oh my goodness, this is very slow. Please. Please. Also, you can't en en enhance the Gerudo uh, Vi outfit, so... Oh. Just in case you were hoping that you could upgrade that. It's not got a lot of defense on it, so it's not really something you're going to use much outside of Gerudo Town. Um, let's see. Doesn't look like I'm going to have enough fireflies for the stealth stuff. I have enough, um, nightshade for it, though. Uh, the Zora armor is going to need a lot of, a lot of good stuff, actually. Hearty Bass and the Zaphos Tales. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna upgrade everything I can to as much as I can. I guess. So let's do the last thing, I think. Oh, no, I can... Oh! The second level of stealth can be acquired. Or third level? I think it's the third level. Right? Am I crazy? Which one's the stealth? That one. Yeah, it's the third level of stealth can be accessed already. 
if I had more sneaky ri ri river snail, but uh, and also probably a little bit more silent mushroom. But I know where to get both of those fairly easily enough, so. Hearts away. Let's do a uh, soldier's helm, I think, maybe? Yeah. Three moblin guts. I'm gonna need to actually fight some moblins instead of just ignoring them or throwing them off of things. That's the problem that I've been having with materials, really, is just ignoring things too much. Anyway, he knocks guts and the Zaphos tail for the soldier's gear. Three stars, which is quite expensive, actually. Also, I want to quickly check... Yeah, never mind. I'm crazy. Let's keep enhancing this. And that should be everything we can enhance for now. So... Let's have a look at our inventory now that that's done. Since we've got a lot more better armor now. Oh my goodness, that's 18 defense now because of upgrading it twice. Because I could. Uh, and that is 9. That's not great for 3 stars, considering that's the Zoragreaves are 2 stars and they, they'd they have just about the same. But yeah, it's, it's a lot more workable now. With everything else that we currently have. Oh, it's pretty good stuff. Pretty, pretty good stuff. I want to upgrade the heart, the champion's tunic, though, at some point, probably. But for now, let's go to the Hylian tunic and just stick with that. I need more Bokoblin guts as well. So many things that I'm going to have to grind a little bit for, probably. Or at least keep an eye out for. Oh, and Endura carrots just grow here, apparently. So now, I want to actually have a look around a little bit more in this area. Because there's a few things around, I think, probably. And by a few things, I mean one thing, but there's probably others as well. And what I'm thinking about is across here, we could just walk across, or we could glide most of the way, and then just climb up. But on this little island out here, if I can not fall too far before climbing up again, is a little area, which is pretty cool. And it's actually got a goddess statue in the middle. Which I think is very cool to just have in the middle of nowhere, basically. But now, let's use it. Oh, I don't have enough spirit orbs. My my plan. My glorious plan. <laughs> it's so all ruined. Uh, but I believe there's also something else around here, if I can find it. Possibly, maybe. I don't know where where it is that I'm looking for. I know what I'm looking for, I just don't know where it is exactly. And I'm hoping that by climbing on to the higher stuff I can probably get a better idea of where it is. Um, um I wonder if it's actually across the bridge is what I'm thinking about, maybe. That'd be a shame, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's up here, so let's just head back this way and see if I'm actually right about this. So, somewhere around here is a flower. And this flower is probably going to be a little bit difficult. Probably. Grab that. Because it's now going over the edge. Oh, please climb down. And we have to actually get to these before they disappear. And it's getting lower. You can't jump down, so we're going to have to slowly crawl our way down. And I might actually quickly change my climbing to my climbing bandana. So I can do that better. Do that. And there's the last one. Go, 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 go. We get a Korok. Very nice. Well, let's try to head up again. Fairly quickly, hopefully. 
and then we can be back on the road. Let me change my hood. I like my hood. Okay, let's try going to that shrine over that way first. There are shrines in the other direction, but I'm going to go get this one to start off. And is there anything in that? I don't think so. I can't see anything from here. So that's hopefully got nothing in it of, in, of great importance. Okay, let's shield her for a little bit. It's probably going to break my shield. Ah! Also, if you break your shield while rolling down a hill, you will uh, roll down a hill and have a lot of pain. Okay, let's... Oh. Oh, hello. Uh, I need to actually take a picture of you, I think. So let's do Yiga Blade Master. These guys will just spawn now as well. I believe we can use the updraft. Just stab you. Ow! Get up, Link. Get up! Um... I guess I should switch to that just for extra defense since that's the best I have. Let's have another go at him. Oh, he's over there. Could you not be right on the edge? Because I don't want to accidentally knock you and whatever you drop off the edge. That would be too cruel. Ah, uh, don't roll off please, Link. Can you come over here please? Also, I believe his sword has waves that it can send at you. So you have to be careful of that. Oh, he's stuck. He's really stuck. Oh, now he's not. Get him, 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 get him. He's got a lot of health and he's disappeared again. But if we can kill him, we get his sword. And some mighty bananas as well. Let's have a look at this sword. The Wind Cleaver. This is not a great picture, but that's okay, because I'm probably not going to need it. This sword is favoured by high-ranking members of the Yiga. When wielded by a uh, prof proficient fighter, proficient fighter, its unique shape uh, cleaves the very wind and creates a vacuum. Very cool. Let's go. Need to get to that shrine. Oh, apparently the road splits here going back the other way. That's interesting. The shield's about to break as well. Just want to get to at least the bottom of the hill. Oh, there he goes. Pain. That does look painful. Also, I want to mark that there. Because we can probably do that at some point soon. And I really wish that horses would spawn in nearby here, but I don't know if they do spawn in anywhere ne nearby. Oh, I should have tried to bring Jack, but it's too late now. I think. Yeah. I was really pushing it with that one. I could have, I might have been out of the door earlier, but I doubt it. But, yeah, that was that other time when I was fairly close. Well, fairly far away and still managed to get it to work. I'm going to use um, some of the speed up food. This is double speed up, so that's actually really good. Get to go super fast. That's probably something that we should be trying to get a little bit more of, is double speed up, because it's just so much better. It's actually interesting that I don't think there's actually any armor with speed up. And that would be the most wanted armor ever. I hope that whenever Breath of the Wild 2 gets announced, that is a thing, because that'll be good. Speed armor, please. I don't know, actually know if there is any in the DLC either. Okay, these look like they're going to have something for me. Let me just check very quickly. No? Okay. This is just a whole ruin here. Doesn't look there's anything hiding that I could look at. 
Anyway, let's keep going. We're very close now. We can see that stable there. To add to our collection of stables. And the shrine's not that far away either. It's just right there, next to it as well. As it usually is. So this should be Easter Carla Stable. Let's quickly have a look inside for our recipe. There's also a book here. I can guess what it is. Rumor Mill Volume 4. This is Tracy. I have a taste for the rumors of the world long gone and worlds yet to come. Everyone's gossiping in the present world. Here's my favorite bit of the latest news. Treasure, treasures of the Falling Star. They, the stars spread out in the sky like a tapestry. And across that expanse, you see one streak of light, a shooting star. And I've heard that there is treasure waiting there where the stars have landed. The next time you see one, why not track it down to see where it lands? Tracy's recommendation? Recommendation? Four stars. The last one you have to get on your own. Get it? it, it okay. That doesn't, this doesn't say that, but, you know. Um, let's go get the shrine. And then probably even head up the road, actually, maybe. Although, there is also something else we could do, which I've already attempted. Ah, uh, this is interesting. Okay. Let's go over here. And I guess this is kind of more golf than the other golf shrine. Except the other golf shrine was really annoying. So let's just hit that into position. We can also see another hole behind the wall. So this isn't the end of the shrine. Obviously, we need to get... Um, excuse you? Did I miss? Oh, but did it just not count because I left it? That's so silly. Because I left the this thing, it decided to despawn the thing, the orb, and it's just annoying. Basically. Oh, I need to respawn it by leaving and going back in. This is very silly. I wonder how much I can break this if I do spin it that much. There it goes. I don't know where it went, but anyway, let me actually do that seriously now. And actually wait for it to go in the hole, because apparently you need to wait for it. Otherwise it doesn't count. Let's go get to that platform quickly. <laughs> okay, everything's fine. How do I get over there? Is my uh, next question. I think you can probably just walk in from behind this thing, yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this. Because what could possibly go wrong with everything that's happening here? I didn't want to do that. Hang on. Um, excuse you? That's so rude. Let me just put that there, and hopefully that's going to stay in position. No, it's not. Oh, and come on. Motion controls. Why are you this bad? Motion controls. Do that, please. No. Okay. Motion controls are not my friend on the Switch. They just really aren't. Okay, let's try for a better angle this time, I think. And maybe a little bit more. Oh, that didn't work. Be careful here. Oh. Uh, oh, which way? That way, and then... Let's... Go! That looks like it's gonna go in. Good. Don't fall out! Oh, it fell out. Okay. Take who knows what by now. That's going to go out. Ah, uh, motion controls. I do not like the... Please 
please say and thank you. Okay, and that should do a thing over here. Which allows us to go get this chest. And I think that's everything in here then. Grab it, grab it quick. Please don't be something I need to drop for. <sighs> you had one job. What am I going to get rid of? Feathered edge. Oh, wow. Ancient battle axe. And it has a, uh... I didn't realize it had a, uh... A durability up thing on it. That's what that icon means, by the way. Let's probably get rid of my knight sword since that's just a regular weapon. Opposed from every other regular weapon, it's it's specifically a regular weapon. Great frost frost blade. This magic infused great sword has forged was forged by smelting ore found in the Hebra Mountains permafrost. Attack when the uh, the blade grows blue to expel freezing air. You're welcome. Oh my goodness, that's right on the edge. Right there on the edge. Okay. Anyway, that should be everything in the shrine. Yep. So let's go. Also, there are some holes down there, I guess. Some archways. It's very artistic for the shrine. Okay. And now that we have four more orbs, let's try one more time, because I I am so sure that we're just super close to having enough hearts. We could also go to Hateno and exchange um, stamina for health, if we paid rupees for it, but I think this is actually the one. I think it's 13 hearts? I think we have 13 hearts. I could be wrong. I'm very bad at counting when there's so many things right next to each other that look exactly the same. I wish you could like go to here and it would just tell you how many extra heart containers you had. Or just how many overall you had. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this from here. Could have been good to get it from the uh, Akala one. But here it works, so... Actually, might be more than I realized how many hearts we have. But okay. Let's, uh... Be prepared. For what is about to happen. Oh, well, that's about to break. I don't want to have anything equipped. Nothing equipped, okay? Because I feel like this is the one. I'm, I'm betting everything on it. I'm going to grab some more of these silent princesses. Here we go. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? The 
lost a sword. I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you. When he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then. Words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes. What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. Master Sword the legendary sword that seals the darkness. Its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. Hmm. That blade has a name. It is the Master Sword. When used against Calamity Ganon, or those trained are tainted by its, his malice, it will become suffused with holy light. At such times, the true power of the sword will manifest. But be warned, do not rel rely too much on its power. If you wield it without need, its power will be exhausted, and it will no longer be of use to you. Should th this happen, you must wait for the sword to recover. It would be rash to rely on this sword alone to defeat Ganon. I suggest you free the divine beasts before facing him. So yeah, the Master Sword is a special blade. It does, hang on, 30 attack, which is fairly, not, it's not the best, but it's still really good. And against, like, Malice enemies, like, I don't know, the, bl the Blight Ganons that we've fought against, I think, Guardians as well, it can actually do extra damage too. Because it'll be stronger when uh, fighting them. Whenever it breaks, though, which it doesn't quite break exactly, but when it runs out of usage, it will need to recharge like the um, champion abilities. So you know you don't lose your lose your master sword. So, but anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.